you're joining me today and I'm going to be sharing five beliefs that block your success as an online yogipreneur, okay? So that is the topic for today's training, okay? And as business owners, we, we've all had times where we question whether we're good enough to become really successful in, in our space, in the space that we're operating in, okay? And these times usually go hand in hand when, um, with the things that, well, with those times when things don't go as planned, you know, and it results in us questioning if we actually have what it takes to build a successful online yoga business. When things don't quite go as planned and we start to question ourselves, have we got what it takes? Can we really do this? And those things that don't go as planned, you know, it could be that you are hosting, that you're launching an online challenge and no one signs up, right? You're hosting something and no one signs up and you start to question, you know, was it your marketing copy? You know, was it your messaging? Or maybe the dates that you organized it for were dates that everybody was busy. You know, maybe it was the ads that you set up. You didn't set them up properly. And so this starts to lead, these questions lead to self-doubt. Yeah. And it can really have a knock on effect on, on our confidence. So what if I was to tell you that the very reason that it didn't work out, the thing that holds you back time and time again, it actually wasn't something that was external, right? It wasn't necessarily the copy, the ads, the dates, actually it's your beliefs, right? It's your thinking because your mindset plays a really huge role in the success that you have and in the results that you achieve. And your life is actually a direct outcome of the beliefs that you have about yourself, the, the beliefs that you have about your business, your relationships. And these beliefs that you've had since child, childhood, right? Yeah, you've had them since childhood. They're patterns of behavior. And, you know, our subconscious mind creates a program, okay, based on, you know, what you were told to believe and what you saw and what you experienced growing up. And this creates our belief system. Yeah, it's, it's our belief system that we have today and what, what can become limiting beliefs, okay, beliefs that hold us back from having that success, that hold us back from, you know, doing the things that we actually want to do. So there's a famous um, quote by Henry Ford, and you probably heard this, and Henry Ford, he said, you know, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Okay, whether you think you can or think you can't, you are right. And the good news is that you have the power to reprogram your subconscious mind, right? You have the power to do that. So a limiting belief, if you're wondering what these limiting beliefs might be, a limiting belief could be that you don't believe that somebody would pay you $1,000 to join you inside your transformational online course. Okay, is this something that crops up for you? I think we often have limiting beliefs around pricing, okay, especially when we start to get into those higher priced premium offerings that we want to create, that we have a goal, a desire to create, but our beliefs hold us back. And we've all been there, you know, we've all been there. Thoughts that we have that, that say, you know, our online offering, whether it's a course, whether it's a virtual retreat, whether it's a workshop, we have these thoughts that it isn't good enough. It isn't good enough, like what we're creating, or that we don't have enough experience for that. And those types of thoughts are actually examples of limiting beliefs that are really just kind of waiting to, you know, take you off track and to really hold you back. And the thing is, like, if you think these thoughts enough in your head, or if you say them out loud enough, they actually become your reality. And they hold you back from taking risks and from going after your goals. Like, you stop, you stop taking action, essentially. You start to kind of halt 
your growth and you stop moving forward. And the reason for that is because you've already decided that you aren't capable. Yeah, you've already decided, you've already told yourself that you aren't good enough. And when you decide that you are capable and that you are good enough, you do what you can to make it happen. You take action to make it happen. So whether that means, you know, educating yourself to fill a gap in your knowledge or, you know, whether it means, you know, to get support to actually help to actually help you to achieve your goals, whether it means persisting, right? Until you actually get it right, because you believe that you're capable and you believe that you're good enough. So our mind is so powerful. And I'm gonna start with this, you know, this limiting belief, this belief that can block you, belief number one is believing that your business is just about having, sorry, let me go back. Believing that business, that having success in business is just about having the right strategies, okay? Any of you here believe that? If you've been in my community for any length of time, you'll know that that's not true. <laughs> strategies is just 20%, yeah? The other 80% is your mindset, okay? Your mindset is actually this, kind of golden thread that, that weaves itself through every part of your business. Every part of your business, every, every success in your business is dependent upon your, your mindset, essentially. And if you're not 100% sold on what you have to offer, and you don't fully believe in your ability to help people, then no strategy will work, okay? You can have the best business and marketing strategies under your belt. But if you don't believe in your offering and your message, you're not gonna make sales, okay? You're not gonna grow your community. You're not gonna bring income into your business. So it's super important to feel, you know, really connected to your purpose and connected to your why. Because, you know, being a yogipreneur, it's not always easy. Like there's constant ups and downs because you're learning as you as you move through this journey as a business owner. You weren't born a CEO, right? You weren't born a marketer. You weren't born a business owner. And you likely came from a nine to five where you had this employee mindset. And now you have to shift this mindset, this employee mindset to actually start thinking and acting and making the decisions of a business owner. It's completely different. These are two different things that really require you to train your mind, like to cultivate your mindset for success. So it really requires you to shift the way you think about things. And one of those shifts is the belief that you just need to learn the strategies and you'll be a success. No, like the energy that you bring to the space is really dependent on your thinking, okay? And you have to work on that. You have to work on it. Like your brain is like a muscle, like you can train it. You know, you have to, you have, to have that awareness of the beliefs that are holding you back so that you can train your brain and reprogram those beliefs so that they don't hold you back anymore, so that they don't get in your way, okay? So that's belief number one. And it's, the, it's this golden thread belief because it's about your mindset, essentially. You know, shifting the belief that success in business is just about the right strategies. It's not. It's also about your mindset. Okay, so number two, number two, belief number two that might hold you back, that will hold you back, is that other yoga teachers have had overnight success. So maybe you're looking around and you're thinking that everyone else seems to be so successful. Yeah, that why hasn't this happened to you yet? I think it's easy, isn't it? It's easy to open up Instagram and think every other yoga teacher on there is ahead of us and is having all of this crazy success. You know, you see other people and you think they're having this overnight success and it causes anxiety because, you know, you feel like you're not enough because of it. You know, you look at them and you think, well, I, I'm not good enough, you know, I'm not as good as them. And, you know, society has kind of glorified this type of success. It's easy to think that 
that that's what's happened to someone else, you know, because of their polished feeds that you, that you see on Instagram. And this issue of overnight success, you know, puts an unrealistic expectation of, of having this really quick success. And then when we don't have this quick success, you know, it, it causes us anxiety and makes us feel like we're being left behind. You know, I just want to lay it on the table. You know, overnight success is a big fat myth. Okay, it's a big fat myth. Like if you are believing that other teachers are having overnight success, I'm here to tell you today that it's simply not the case. So what happens is we see this success, like we see the results, right? And we, what we don't see is what happened behind the scenes to get those results, okay? We never really see that, you know? So from the outside, it looks like it just happened to them. And I can tell you now that, you know, after coaching hundreds of yoga teachers, the one most common <laughs> obstacle in becoming successful is this, um, unconscious desire and expectation to have overnight success and having it all worked out right now. It's almost like this, this rush, like we become impatient because we see the success of everyone else and we forget what it took for them to actually get there. So it really is a myth. And this isn't to discourage you. Yeah. In fact, it's actually quite the opposite because we need to get real, you know, we need to get real so that we push ourselves and we put in the hard work because this isn't about luck, you know, it isn't. And, you know, in fact, the harder you work, the luckier you appear from the outside, you know, you, the luckier you appear to the outside world. Again, because the outside world see the results. They don't necessarily see the hard work that you've put in. So for you to be successful in your business, this success, it requires hard work, first of all. It requires courage, patience, grit, resilience, talent, teamwork, more hard work. It requires all of that. So you need to ask yourself, are you willing to put in the hard work? And don't just say yes, like really Ask yourself, are you here to work hard for your dreams? Are you? Because staying inside your comfort zone, it isn't going to get you there. Like you have to be doing things that feel really scary and feel uncomfortable. And, you know, you'll feel disappointed at times. You will, trust me. Like you, you'll cry. <laughs> you'll definitely cry at times. But you have to be fully you know, in, in, in on this, you have to be fully in this journey because when things don't go to plan and you're not fully in it, you will feel defeated and you'll feel like a failure. And it's going to feel so much harder to pick yourself back up and try again. If you are not in it, right? You have to be in it. So we must believe in ourselves essentially, like we've got to stop comparing ourselves to other people. You know, if you're scrolling through Instagram and thinking, Oh God, wow, this teacher came out of nowhere. Why can't I have that success? You know, you're stepping into imposter syndrome there, okay? And it affects all of us, but we have to be quick to recognize it. That's the key, be quick to recognize it. So instead of like saying to yourself, instead of thinking, oh, I'm not as good as them, you know, think, you know, here are the things that I'm good at and I'm learning. Yeah, I'm learning, I'm educating myself so I can show up in a bigger way. So, you know, we've got to stop comparing ourselves. Focus on the things that you do well, yeah? And remember that you have something super valuable to offer. Focus your energy there. What you are offering as a yoga teacher, there's nothing phony about it, okay? You're here to help people. You're here to help people to transform their lives. So focus your energy on that. You know, we have to be so mindful of what's going on up here, our thoughts, and the feelings that we create about our own success. Because the reality here, guys, is that there are very few stories of great successes 
that came without hard work and grit. So if we're thinking that we can just skip all of that hard work, you know, think again, rethink that. Yeah, if, you're, if that's what you're thinking, you're setting yourself up for failure. So this actually leads me nicely onto belief number three, okay? And that's that success is about the hustle, okay? So I've just said, I've just said that success requires Hard work, courage, patience, grit, resilience, more hard work. I didn't say hustle, okay? So if you're equating hard work to hustle, rethink that. That's another one you need to rethink. But as a yoga teacher, we can define hustle as working constantly in your business teaching, Okay, teaching classes constantly. That's a hustle. Like the hustling yoga teacher is the one who is traveling from studio to studio, teaching multiple classes a day, 20 classes a week, no time for their own practice, exhausted, burnt out, only just making enough money to pay the bills. That approach is a hustle. Okay, if, we're, if, if, you're, if you're believing that you know, the hustle is the only way to have success as a yoga teacher, it's time to shift that belief, okay? Because teaching classes in, in studios is only, that's just one business model. It's just one business model. Like when we pivot ourselves online, we have an online business model and that includes creating online offerings that reach bigger audiences, okay? And of course, that requires hard work, resilience, grit, courage, patience, more hard work. But that business model of creating online offerings like workshops and memberships and courses is a sustainable business model is a sustainable business model because it's scalable, okay? So you can create something, you can create an online offering and you can sell it again and again and again. So it's not requiring you to always be there. Yeah, you're not trading your time for money. Whereas when you're teaching in a studio, you're doing exactly that. You're showing up and you're getting paid for your time. So when we're not trading our time for money, if we're looking at this new business model that we can move into, like that's the vision, isn't it? Like that's the long-term goal. That's sustainability, okay? That's building a sustainable business. Belief number four, let's move on. Belief number four that can block your success as an online yogipreneur is that if we fail or if we make mistakes, we should give up, okay? We should give up. Obviously, we weren't cut out for this. <laughs> it's time to view failure in a new light, okay? So I want for you to look at failure as a gift, okay? Failure is a gift, a gift that is giving you time and perspective to learn from those mistakes and failures so that you can improve the next time around. Okay, it's inevitable, guys. It is. Failure and mistakes are inevitable. It's how you learn from it that really truly matters. Okay, so what matters is not whether you failed trying something, it's how quickly you can bounce back and get back on track and learn from that mistake and try again. That's what truly matters. So, this is pers about persistence, isn't it? Really, you know, failure. Mistakes, learning, persistence. It's about persistence in a nutshell. You know, you must be persistent in your pursuit of success. I'll say it again. You must be persistent in your pursuit of success. Like, don't let failure be the thing that, that stops you from being persistent, okay? Because if you're not persistent, you're never going to be a, a success. You, you won't. Business requires persistence, consistency and persistence, okay? So it's, you need to shift your beliefs around failure and mistakes, yeah? It's simply learning. This is that learning experience, 
It's a learning experience. The more you fail, the better, actually, because the more you learn. <laughs> so you're in this for the long haul, and it's inevitable that things aren't always going to go to plan, okay? So this brings us to the final belief. The final belief, and it actually helps with the belief number four that I just talked about, but this final belief that can block you Lock your success is that is the belief that you can do all of this on your own. Okay, so this is a belief that I had in the early days, in the early years of my business, and it still crops up. I know firsthand from experience that this belief holds you back. Okay, it holds you back. Like when you have support, you sh you shorten the timeline to your success, okay? You speed things up, basically. You speed up your success when you have su support. You speed up your results when you have support, okay? So this, this can look like support from a team, okay? Allowing support in, like opening up to receiving support from other people. And that could look like, you know, a few hours a week, of VA support, you know, in the beginning to help you to free up your time so that you can work on your business and not always in it. Okay, so a very simple thing that you could do. If you look at your schedule right now and you're one of those teachers that is hustling, yeah, we've talked about this, you know, you're, you're teaching in studios, going from studio to studio, teaching 20 classes a week, I want you to look at that schedule. If you have a goal, if you have an in, inner knowing inside that you should be sharing your message online, I want you to look at that schedule right now. Look at the classes that aren't lighting your soul up. Maybe it's those classes where you've got to travel across town. You know, it takes hours there and back. Drop it. Drop that class. What's it paying you? $20, $30? Drop that class and invest time working on your business, okay? Work on your business where you can work on these higher priced offerings, okay? We've talked about this, you know, instead of having the hustle, looking at creating an online business model where you can work on online offerings, creating online offerings that you can sell again and again and again, okay? Free up your time. A VA allows you to free up your time, even if it's just a couple of hours a week. What are the admin tasks that you're doing right now that you could pay someone, you know, $10, $15 for to help you with that? And that's going to give you extra time back to work on creating an offering that you could sell for $500. Okay, so what is the value of your time, guys? Look at that. Look at that. And start to see how when you open up yourself to receive support, you can actually start working on your business and moving it forward in a new way, in a new direction. Okay, it can feel risky, but as business owners, we're here to take risks. Okay, when you have the employee mindset, the nine to five mindset, you don't take those risks. But as a business owner, as a CEO, as an as a entrepreneur, a yogipreneur, you're here to take risks in your business. That's what you do. Okay, so what else could it look like? It could look like support from a coach or a mentor. Like, this is so important. Like, I continue to work with coaches and mentors in my business. I invest in thousands and thousands of dollars every single year to be inside programs and masterminds to support me in my business growth because I've seen the impact that it has on my bottom line, okay? I've seen the impact it has on my sales and my results. And I will can continue to do that. You know, as I level up, I'm gonna be looking for even better, even better um, coaches and mentors and masterminds to be inside because I want to expand, because I want to level up even more. I know that I can't do this on my own. I want to learn from other people and I encourage you to do the same. Like we have to understand that we can't do this on our own and we shouldn't want to. We shouldn't want to do this on our own. It's way more fun to do it with other people. Like being part of a like-minded community, being surrounded by like-minded like yogi preneurs is key to our success, 
Okay, building a business is lonely. Do you agree? It's lonely when you're doing it on your own. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, it does. Exactly. Like it can be super lonely as a yogipreneur trying to do all of this on your own, trying to make all those mistakes and failures on your own, right? So surround yourself, surround yourself with epic yogipreneurs. Like you guys inside the Facebook group are doing that. If, you, if you're not on the, in the Facebook group, guys, you need to hop on over and come and join us in the Facebook group. I mean, in all of our programs, we have Facebook groups communities for those students as well so that they can go through the programs together and you know invest in yourself invest in your business and just fill those knowledge gaps okay if you don't know the strategies to succeed get the education get the support that you need okay if you don't know how to grow your online community how to launch online offerings so that you're not stuck in that studio model get support, like whether it's from Digital Yoga Academy or another coach, that's what I want for you. Your success means more lives around the world being transformed through yoga. Isn't that why you're here? Like your success means spreading the message of yoga around the world. Okay, that's actually our mission here at Digital Yoga Academy. Our mission is to spread the message of yoga. Okay, so that more people around the world are positively impacted and can transform their lives. That's our mission. And we succeed in our mission by educating you, okay, by educating and supporting the world's yoga teachers to be able to promote themselves essentially, right? For you to be able to fill your offerings and reach more people, transform more lives. So, you know, be part of that mission. Like, let's be part of a mission together to share yoga around the world. Like, that is why we are here. So if you're a new yoga teacher and you want to do that, if you want to launch online so that you can reach more people, so that you can say goodbye to the hustle, so that you can learn, like, how to master your mindset and the strategies to actually grow your community and you know, sell these online offerings, get the support you need. And not even if you're a new yoga teacher, you may have been teaching for some time now, but you haven't yet really established yourself online. Get the support you need, guys. We are starting next week, 7th of March, Yogipreneur Launchpad. I'm sure you've heard about it already. We had the doors open last week and you still have opportunity to join, okay? I'm inviting you to join us inside this program. It is for those teachers who are new to the online space, okay? So you might be a completely brand new yoga teacher, you're ready, you wanna get yourself online. You might be a teacher, as I said, who's been teaching for some time, but you're yet to establish yourself online. We're gonna teach you how to launch yourself into the online space, how to decide on your niche, how to dial in on your messaging, how to create online offerings that sell, okay? So you get a new module of strategies every single week. You get 16 weeks of live Q&A mentorship support, okay? Live, live mentorship sessions every single week. There's an incredible community, Amazing bonuses. Essentially, it's yogipreneurlaunchpad.com. Nice and easy. <laughs> yogipreneurlaunchpad.com. Okay, come and join us. Come and join us. We start on the 7th of March. Start on the 7th of March. This is for new online yogipreneurs. Okay, so it's the marketing foundations. Essentially, you're going to learn our framework, our three step framework. You're going to get live mentorship and support. You'll get accountability and you'll get a community. Okay, we need to become more intentional about how we market ourselves and we need to start thinking beyond the drop in yoga class if we want to make our online business a profitable business if we want to do this for the long term. So I invite you to join me inside the program. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out to me, guys. You can send me an email, hello at digitalyogaacademy.com. You can send me a DM. 
a Facebook message. I'm here to support you, okay? And I'm super excited about this program and in supporting more yoga teachers to share their message online and to be part of this bigger vision to transform people's lives. So sending you so much love. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys very, very soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.